So what am I saying today? The Bible says Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. How are we going to make sure that this Jesus remains relevant? Where Jesus does not just look to people as a religious rabbi. One religious being, you know, somewhere. And then we deal with all these barriers, you know, and all of that. I believe that this is one of the ways we're going to do it. Like what I've just explained to us. When we allow the counsel of God, the wisdom of God, knowing who, who, who he is. I tell you, God is a real God. He's a real God that knows us. You know, I was telling them when I was preaching in Kano. I said the Holy Spirit is not a religious spirit. He is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. Amen. The Bible tells us his attributes in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. He's the spirit of counsel, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge. He is not a religious spirit. He is a real spirit. He is the spirit of the living God. He comes up with real solutions to your real problems. And I was giving them examples of how he had come through. I mean, we listened to the testimony of that young man. You know, you know I heard what, you know, I like how he was saying, God was saying young man. Amen. <laughs> young man. He said for the first time in his life he spoke to God. Can you see that? That is not religion. That is an active relationship with God. Are you listening to me? How many people know that God knows them? God knows about your hopes, your aspirations. Is that okay? And we don't have to be scared of God. We don't have to be scared of saying, God, you know something? My plan is to hit Australia. Australia, here I come. But can you see that God did not beat him on the head? But God let him know that he had other plans for him. We must understand that God cares about us. And God understands us. God knows your makeup. He knows your temperament. Are you listening to what I'm saying? You know, I was saying to someone, I said, you know, by my own temperament, you know, if you ask me to sit down here and don't look behind, I wouldn't look behind. But some people, they must look. You know, if you said to me, don't look behind. I'm like, okay, I wouldn't look behind. And, and I just enjoy where I am. I make something out of where I am. But some people must, you know, and God knows you. He knows who you are. He is relevant for all seasons. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, I'm going to read something in the book of Hebrews to tell us, to, to say to us, you know, to just establish the fact that Jesus Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Can someone say he's the man for all seasons? He is ever relevant. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter, I think chapter 7. Yes. The Bible says in verse 22. By so much more, Jesus has become a surety of a better covenant. Also, there were many priests. Because they were prevented by death from continuing. But he, because he continues for how long? Forever. Has an unchangeable priesthood. Therefore, he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him. Since he always lives to make what? Intercession for them. He is able to save to the uttermost. Those who come to God through him, since he always lives. Can someone say he always lives? He always lives. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And as I thought about that, I said, how, 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 how is he able to remain the same yesterday, today, and forever? And I will say that to us, and then we're going to pray. Number one. By giving us his word. How is he able to perpetuate? How is he able to continue? He gave us his word. Can someone say his word? He said to his disciples in the book of John. He said the word that I speak to you. The word that I speak to you. They are what? They are spirit and they are life. One of the ways in which he remains the same yesterday, today and forever is by his word. By the word that he has given to us, we can always go back to his words and say, Lord Jesus, you said this. Your word says. And I tell you, when you learn to take his word, he becomes the same yesterday, today, and forever in your life. His words. 
You see, words are so powerful. Is that not true? Words are so powerful. Something someone said how many years ago, you could still recall them. And I tell you something, the words that you spoke many years ago, those words are still alive today. They are still alive today. They are spirit and they are life. The word of God, the words that Jesus spoke are still alive today. The next thing by which he remains yesterday, today, and forever is by his name. Can someone say his name? His name. His name. How is he to the same yesterday, today, and forever? For instance, the Bible says, don't even say in your heart, who is going to go down to bring him up? To bring Jesus up. You know, he descended. Amen. Or don't say who is going to go up and bring him down. But what said it? The righteousness which is by faith. What does it say? The word of faith is where? Near you, even in your heart. If you will believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth. So by his words, he remains the same. And by his name, he remains the same. He said, this signs will follow those who believe. He said, in my name, they will cast out devils. They will do what? Cast out devils. So it, by his name, he remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. That is, I don't have to sit down wishing I was alive. I was around when Jesus walked, you know, those shores of Galilee. We have his name. And by that name, we can do the things that he did. He said, greater works than these shall you do. I tell you, Jesus Christ is still alive by his name. By the power of his name. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. So in his name, he gave us his name. Like Peter and John, they said silver and gold we don't have. But what we have, we give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. His plan by giving us his name was so that we could continue in what he started. Can someone say amen to that? So he is the same yesterday, today, and forever by the power of his name. Thirdly, by his blood. Can someone say amen? amen? By what? His blood. The Bible says that the lamb was slain before the foundations of the world. Is that not true? And the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews that that blood speaks. The blood does what? Speaks. Not just spoke, but speaks. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever by the power of his blood. No wonder he said, every time, anytime you eat this bread, you take, of the, you take this cup. He said, do it in what? Remembrance of me. He said, you declare, you proclaim my death till I come back. I was, you know, to, before I traveled to, the, to, to Nigeria, I, I mentioned some things about breaking of bread. One morning, you know, I just had an impression in my heart to break bread. So I stepped down and, you know, I broke bread and I was breaking bread, you know, uh, you know, concerning an issue, as I was breaking bread and, you know, pacing, you know, the, the, the floor of my kitchen, I found myself going into other dimensions, praying about other things. Because, you see, the word of God is the word of the covenant. Is that not true? That covenant was ratified in the blood of Jesus, which has been poured out for us. And everything God has made available to us is by that covenant. Are you listening to me? He said, this is the blood of the new covenant. This is the blood of the new covenant. And I was just breaking bread and I was just saying things. And, you know, that same day, one of the things that I prayed about, because that day, you know, I saw that everything about me comes under the covenant. My family. Are you getting me? Everything about you. Everything God has provided for you comes in the covenant. Your finances. There's no subject about your life that is not covered by the covenant. So you can break bread on any issue. So I was just breaking bread and that same day I got an instant result on one of the things I prayed about. So what, I was trying to, what I'm trying to say is that I shared this with, you know, someone on the phone. And uh, she said to me when I was in Nigeria, she gave a testimony. Because I was just sharing with her a testimony about how I broke bread. And one of the things I talked about, how there was an immediate result and all of that. And then she said to me when I was in Nigeria, she said, since that day you shared that with me, I've been breaking bread. And she said... That was going to be like two weeks now. She said, since then, I have not taken any medication. She said, before then, I was taking medication every day because of the medical situation I was facing. She said, I've been breaking bread since then. And that really blessed me because I was not saying to her, do it. I was just sharing the testimony. And I wanted to know that by that blood, it remains the same. By that blood of the covenant, Jesus Christ remains the same. 
Do not think, do not wonder who's going to go and bring him up, who's going to bring him down. So today I just want us to, to bow our heads. I want us to be more resolved than ever before. That we are going to demonstrate to the world that he doesn't change. He is the same. He's given us his word. I mean, I'm not Jesus. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not immortal. But even I know the effect. I've seen the power of the word that God has spoken through one to people. There are times people have come to you and said, you said this. You can't even remember you said it. But it carries so much power. And people still recall those words. And as long as they recall those words, they are having results. How much more the words that Jesus spoke. He said they are spirit and they are life. They are spirit and they are life. He said, the, the Bible said the spirit of God quickens. He gives life. It's so awesome when the spirit of God comes to give life to the word of God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever by his word. He said, these words have I spoken to you that in me you may have joy. He said, in the world you have tribulation. You see, when you think about the things going on around you, there's no even reason to be happy. But every time you go into the word of God, it's as if he just said it to you right now. And it's true, he's saying it to you right now. He said it 2,000 years ago, and he's just saying it to you right now by his spirit. So by that word, by the name, by the blood, and thank God for the Holy Ghost. He said, the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send, send in my place, in my name. And I tell you, if you're here today and you're wondering, I don't know what your problem is, I don't know what your challenges are, but remember that Jesus Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. I like the way Don Muen put it. He said, nobody would doubt that if God will walk into this place today and say to you, you are healed. Nobody would doubt that they are healed. He said, but his word says you are healed. That is the power that is in that word. By his word, he is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. You and I can go into the word and take what the word says and see Jesus come alive in our lives. Father, we bless you.